Madam Speaker, on January 4th, 2019, President Trump sent Congress a letter about America's border crisis. That letter states, in part, quote, it is the sovereign right of every nation to establish an immigration program in its national interest, lawfully admitting those who have followed the rules while denying entry to those who break the rules or fail to meet the requirements established in law. A nation that fails to control its borders cannot fulfill its most basic obligations to the citizens, physical safety, economic security, essential public services, and the uniform protection of our laws. The southern border is a very dangerous place. In fact, Border Patrol agents routinely encounter some of the most dangerous criminals, cartels, and traffickers anywhere in the world. Effective border security must dramatically reduce the entry of illegal immigrants, criminals, and drugs. It must keep out terrorists, public safety threats, and those who otherwise are inadmissible under U.S. law. And it must ensure that those who do enter without legal permission can be promptly and safely returned home. Current funding levels, resources, and authorities are woefully inadequate to meet the scope of the problem. We are no longer in a status quo situation at the southern border, but in a crisis situation. Status quo funding is not enough. In fiscal year 2018, 17,000 adults at the border with existing criminal records were arrested by Customs and Border Patrol and border agents. In FY 2017 and FY 2018, ICE officers arrested approximately 235,000 aliens on various criminal charges or convictions within the interior of the United States, including roughly 100,000 for assault, 30,000 for sex crimes, and 4,000 for homicides, end quote. For emphasis, over the past two years, illegal aliens have averaged 50,000 physical assaults, 15,000 sex crimes, and 2,000 killings per year, all in America. Returning to President Trump's letter, quote, 300 Americans are killed every week from heroin, 90% of which floods across our southern border, end quote. Stated differently, our poorest southern border and illegal aliens contribute to the deaths of another 15,000 Americans per year from just one drug, heroin. According to the Center for Disease Control, there are another 55,000 dead Americans from overdoses from other poisonous drugs, many of which, like heroin, steal across our porous southern border. President Trump continues in his letter, quote, illegal immigration is not progressive by every measure. It is unfair, unjust, uncompassionate, and cruel. Many people are killed. It hurts both those who make the journey and so many communities bearing the cost in lives, safety, and dollars. Absolutely critical to border security and national security is a wall or a physical barrier that prevents entry in the first place. Members of both parties, including then Senators Obama and Clinton, current Senator Schumer, and many other members of the House and Senate, all voted for a hard physical barrier. Walls work. That's why rich, powerful, and successful people build them around their homes. All Americans deserve the same protection. In Israel, it is 99% effective, end quote. Mr. Speaker, open borders advocates force Washington to either shut down the government or do nothing, nothing, to prevent the deaths of thousands of Americans each year that result from our poor southern border and illegal alien criminal activity. This is a bad choice. To the contrary, we should both end the government shutdown and secure our borders by building a wall and changing our immigration laws to protect the lives of American men, women, and children. Mr. Speaker, I ask for unanimous consent that President Trump's letter to Congress be included in the congressional record. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield back.